Today I'm going to read about one of my favorite characters, Elmer. This is called Elmer and Grandpa Eldo by David McKee. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant was picking fruit. Picking fruit, Elmer? asked a monkey. I'm going to see Grandpa Eldo, and this is his favorite, said Elmer. Golden Grandpa Eldo? asked monkey. That's nice. Grandpa Eldo was pleased to see Elmer. What a lovely surprise, he said. What's that? Balanced on your head. Your favorite fruit, said Elmer. Fancy you remembering that, said Eldo. I remember lots of things, said Elmer. What else do you remember, asked Eldo. The walks we used to go on, said Elmer. Walks? Where did we go? Eldo asked. Don't you remember, said Elmer. I'll show you. Come on. We used to come this way, past the rocks, said Elmer. Here I used to hide, then jump out and shout. Elmer turned around, but Eldo wasn't there. Grandpa? Grandpa Eldo, where are you? He called. I bet I know. Eldo suddenly jumped out in front of Elmer. Boo! He shouted. Oh, Grandpa, Elmer laughed. I was supposed to do that. Come on, now we go down to the stream. At the stream, Elmer said, Don't you remember anything we used to play? Stepping stones. Show me, said Eldo. There were already some rocks in the water. Elmer added a few, added more to fill in the spaces. Now walk across, he said. Be careful, there's usually a wobbly one. Suddenly, there was a huge splash. Elmer had fallen in. You were right. You've a good memory, Eldo chuckled. Elmer laughed. Luckily, it's not deep. Now where? asked Eldo. You still don't remember? asked Elmer. To the lake, of course. We used to play ducks and drakes, said Elmer. He picked up a flat stone and sent it skipping across the water. Seven splashes, he said. Let me try, said Eldo. You need a nice flat stone, said Elmer, but Eldo had already thrown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they counted together. That's a lot of skips. My dad is really good at skipping stones. Have you ever thrown a stone into the lake like that and seen it skip? When they set off again, Elmer started to sing. Eldo joined in. Then the birds joined in, too. When we're marching on our way, bibbidi-bump, bibbidi-bump, we like to laugh and play, bibbidi-bump, bibbidi-bump. And when we can't think of what to do, we simply hide and then shout, boo! When we're marching on our way, bubbidi-bump, bubbidi-bump. When they shouted boo, the birds flew around, squawking with laughter. It started to rain, and they dashed into a cave for shelter. Surely you remember the stories you used to tell me, Elmer asked. Eldo frowned. What were they? he asked. Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, Three Little Pigs. Mmm, Billy Goat's Gruff. Ah, Sleeping Beauty. Elmer hesitated. Hansel and Gretel, Tom Thumb, Goldilocks. Eldo continued. You cheat. You do remember, said Elmer. Eldo laughed and, now that the rain had stopped, ran off. Elmer chased him all the way back to Eldo's place, shouting, You tricked me! You remembered everything! I'll get you, Grandpa Eldo! After they had their breath back and stopped laughing and finished the fruit that Elmer brought, it was time to go home. It's been fun, Grandpa, said Elmer. You really remembered everything, didn't you? Yes, chuckled Eldo, and I was so happy that you did too. Best of all, you remembered to visit me. Elmer smiled. Bye, Grandpa, he said. See you soon. Oh, I love Elmer.